if you receive the error code 0 by 800700 AIA in the movies. Method 1. Update movies and TV app. Software developers release timely updates for their apps. These updates are the fixes of several problems in the app that users are experiencing due to a bug. Therefore, we suggest you check if there is any update available for the movies and TV app in Microsoft Store. If yes, install the update and check if the issue is solved or not. Method 2. Install Advanced Codecs. Advanced Codec is among the useful codecs for media players. You might be experiencing the issue due to the unsupported file format or missing codecs. Therefore, installing the advanced codecs may solve the problem. Method 3. Change a value in registry. Launch the run command box by pressing WinR keys. Now, type regedit and click OK. Click yes if you receive a UAC prompt. In the registry editor, following the path in screen, hit enter when you are done. Now, check if there is an entry named Disable Protected Audio DG available on the right side. If not, you have to create it. For this, right-click in the empty space on the right side and go to new greater than dword 32-bit value. Right-click on the newly created value, select rename and type Disable Protected Audio DG. By default, the value Disable Protected Audio DG should show zero. If there is a change in its value, double-click on it and enter zero in its value data. Click OK to save the changes. Close the registry editor and restart your computer. Check if you can play the .mov video file in movies and TV or not. If the issue still persists, try the next method. Method 4. Repair or reset the movies and TV app. Open Windows settings and repair or reset the movies and TV app and see if that helps. Method 5. Uninstall and reinstall the movies and TV app. Click on the Windows search and type PowerShell. Right-click on PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes in the UAC prompt. Following the command in screen and hit Enter. This command will uninstall the movies and TV app from your device. After the above command gets completed, restart your computer and reinstall the app by running the following command in PowerShell as Administrator. After the command gets completed, restart your computer.